Hello from Tokyo! Today I'm going to do a funnel pour using black and red, orange, these are all shuttle art paints, and we have crimson red, which is a little bit darker than the other red, and lemon yellow and titanium white. They've all been mixed with a pouring medium of 70% clear PVA glue and 30% water. And this is my little funnel. So let's start layering the paint. I'll be quiet for a little while and come back a little bit later. Please enjoy the video. But I did add some Amsterdam light gold as well to the pour. Now as I begin releasing the paint from the funnel, you'll notice that the video is quite choppy and what it is is, as you can see my hand there, I have my torch. So I was torching every single time I moved the funnel and I didn't think you'd want to watch that whole process. But I was doing that anyway to see if any cells would come up. Like there, just now, that's a good example. Just pointing out there that some cells seem to be popping up which is nice and I'm going to put some more paint down and then do another funnel pour on the other side going up in the other direction. I add this paint to help with the flow of the paint. However, I'm stretching it in the other direction and I don't know why I do this. I keep doing this in this painting. It's really hilarious. So I hope you find it funny too. <laughs>
going super slow with this because I'm scared that the paint is very thin and it might all slide off quickly if I if I kind of slant it too far so or too quickly um, so initially I'm going very slow with this When it starts looking like um, molten lava like it's coming down a volcano as if mountains just erupted I like the way it moves like that When I turn it around, does it look a bit like a dragon to you? It did to me at the time, but then someone else said it looked a bit like an alien as well. So I don't know, but this is the finished wet painting. Let's have a look at it closer. There's some pretty cool effects that went on. This part reminds me of stained glass windows for some reason. And I like this crackle effect with the white and black on the orange. With the yellow, I especially like the very small flecks, like flecks of light. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Only using PVA and water, no Floetrol, no silicone. So you don't have those crazy cells, but it's still, I don't know what happened there. That's a really weird effect too. But, <laughs> um, yeah, so this is what you can achieve with just a really simple medium, glue and water. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have a dried version here. I haven't recorded a dried version, so this is just the wet version. But I hope you enjoyed this painting today. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!